Welcome to Electro Online. Here's another example of how to build cascaded op amp circuits. And notice in this case, there's a total of three. And notice that they're not all in series. The output of the first one plus the output of the second one is fed into the third operational amplifier. But it's still what we call a cascaded op amp circuit. So what we need to do is figure out the output of the first circuit, the output of the second circuit, and then realize that those are added or an addition circuit to the input of the third one. Notice that all the inputs are to the inverted input terminals, so therefore in each case the voltage is reversed in polarity. So let's figure out the output voltage of the first and the output voltage of the second. So we can say that V output of the first is equal to the negative of the ratio of the feedback resistor RF1 to the Oop, I didn't write that down. This is R1 and call this R2. So to the ratio of R1 times the input voltage V1 input or V input 1. Mm, let's call it just V1. All right, because that's what I call it here. And so this is equal to minus the ratio of 5 kilo ohms to 2 kilo ohms times V1, which is 1 volt. And you can see that the ratio here is two and a half times the negative times one volt, which is equal to minus 2.5 volts. The output of the second circuit, the second op amp, is equal to the negative of RF2 divided by R2 times the input voltage, V2. And so that will be the negative of the ratio of, we have six kilo ohms on the feedback resistor divided by R2, which is a four kilo ohm resistor and the input voltage in this case is 2 volts. So the ratio of 6 to 4, well that's 1.5. One 1.5 and one and times 2 gives us 3 volts and we still have the negative sign, so minus 3 volt input there. So let's use our red pen here to indicate that here the input voltage is a minus 2.5 volts and here the input voltage is equal to minus 3 volts. Okay. Now you see this as a summer, right? We're summing this input and this input together, and we have the one feedback resistor here, which means that the output voltage, VO3, is equal to the negative, because we're connecting these to the negative input, negative of the ratio of R sub F3, RF3 to R3, multiplied times VOI, V, o, v output 1, I should say, that's not an I, that's a 1. So it's the, to close the bracket oh, yet. There we go. So that would be the input of the first circuit. We add to that the input of the second circuit, which is RF3 divided by R4 times VO2, the output of the second circuit, which becomes, of course, the input of the third circuit. And now we can close the bracket. So now let's plug in the values and see what we get. This is equal to minus the quantity RF3, which is 8 kilo ohms, divided by R3, which is 4 kilo ohms, multiplied times VO1, which is a negative 2.5 volts, plus the ratio of 8 kilo ohms to R4, which is 12 kilo ohms, times the voltage of minus 3 volts. Right away you can see that this negative sign will negate these two negative signs, so they'll both become positive. And this is equal to 8 divided by 4 is 2, 2 times 2.5, which is 5 volts, plus 8 divided by 12, which is 2 thirds, times 3, which is 2 volts, plus 2 volts, which means we have a total of 7 volt output of this final circuit, of the final operational amplifier. So you can see that, first of all, we have two inverters right here. Then these are added together, this is a summation, and they sum together on the negative terminal, inverting the sign again to a positive output of 7 volts, when we have an input of 1 volt here and 2 volts there. And that's how it's done.